Hi, this is Patricia Agner from the Rutland City Public Schools. I'm going to show you how to use Google Keep. So here I am in Google Keep. Here I have Take a Note. I have an option of making it a list using drawing tools or bringing an image in. I'm going to start out with a list and I'm going to title it. I have a prior to vacation list. I could share it with someone. I can set up a reminder. I can give it a color. I can add an image. And over here, I can add a label and I'm gonna put it in my project list and I'll close it. So I see here that I've given it a label called project list. And that is a simple list. You can do these on your phone too, if you want to. And you can audio record with an app on your phone. Let's do one with an image. So I'm gonna go get a picture. I can add it to a project if I want to, or I can share it with somebody. So all the things I did before. And here is take a note. If you have a touch Chromebook, this would be a pretty cool thing to do. And there is my hand scribbled note. So when does this all become relevant? Well, for me as a writer, if I go to either docs or slides, I can bring these notes in. So here I am in a Google Doc. Over to the right, I see my keep notes and I can bring my keep notes and I can also add notes while I'm working here and I can just drag things in. So if I were doing research, I could have a whole bunch of keep notes for my research and they would be right at my fingertip. So that's one way to do this. I also see my Google keep notes over here in slides so I can access these materials in my slides too. And it could be a list of steps that the writer needs to do. It can be all sorts of information related to a project or research for our students.